CIET NCERT presents audiobook Looking Around Textbook of Environmental Studies for Class 3 Page number 111 Chapter number 17 Here comes a letter there is a picture given on page number 111 of a yellow-coloured postcard. It is a letter. A message and receiver's name is written on the left side and receiver's address is written on the right side. This picture tells you how a letter looks like and how it should be written. The letter is addressed to Ahmad. It has been sent by Rina. The message on the left-hand side reads, Ahmad, you tell. How are you? We all friends miss you a lot. Hope you will come to Agartala in the vacations. Regards to all elders. Yours, Rina. On the right-hand side, Ahmad's address is written, along with the PIN code of his house. It reads, Ahmad Ali, house number 15, block C, Malviya Nagar, New Delhi, 110017. I am a letter. A letter written with a pen and paper by Rina to her friend Ahmad. I was put in a letter box. The postman took me out and put me in a big bag. Taking a ride on the postman's bicycle, I reached the post office. There, I was taken out of the big bag and stamped hard. The stamp was of Agartala, from where my travel began. After getting stamped, I reached another big bag. This bag had many more letters, all heading for Delhi. The red postal van dropped me at the railway station. There, I got into a train going to Delhi. After a long journey of five to six days, I reached Delhi. I was sorted as per the area mentioned in the address written on me. One more stamp was put on me. Finally, the postman dropped me at Ahmad's house. Page number 112 Given below is the journey of a letter, shown through pictures. The pictures are not in a sequence. Arrange these to get the correct sequence by putting number in the circles. There is a picture given on page number 112. This picture is divided into eight sections. In the first section, a girl is putting a letter in the post box. In the second part, a man is stamping the letter. In the third one, there are two big bags placed on the platform. Delhi is written on those bags. And a train is on the track. In the fourth part, a girl is writing a letter. In the fifth part, a person is taking out letters from a letter box. In the sixth one, a man is putting a letter in a small letter box outside a house. In the seventh part of the picture, a lady is arranging letters in the shelf. In the last part of the picture, a boy is reading the letter with a smiling face. Page number 113 Rina wrote a letter to Ahmad. Write a letter to your friend in the class. Don't forget to write your friend's name. Everyone has written a letter. But where do we post it? Let us make a letterbox for the class. 1. Take an empty shoe box. 2. Paint it with red colour or paste red paper on it. 3. 
with the help of scissors make a slit in the cover of the box the slit should be big enough for letters to be put in now letter box is ready drop your letters in the letter box now wait to receive the letter written to you by your friend one child will act as a postman he or she will take out the letters from the letter box and distribute them to all the children did you enjoy reading your friend's letter just as you wrote a letter to your friend in the same way your friends and relatives must also be sending letters to you bring some letters from home to school see how many different types of letters are there one what difference do you see in these letters two which letters have stamps on them three are all the stamps similar what are the differences four have you seen the stamp of the post office on these letters note children will enjoy sharing their news by writing letters to their friends in the class motivate them to write letters collect a variety of postal forms we use on page number 110 a woman has been drawn working in the post office discuss defined gender roles in family and society page number 114 collect different types of stamps and paste them below there is a big box drawn here on page number 114 collect different types of stamps and paste them here in this box how did your letter reach your friend it reached because your friend's name and address was written on it page number 115 write your full address on the postcard given here here is a picture given on page number 115 it is a postcard write your full address in the blank space provided on the right side of the postcard given here reena's letter reached delhi by train How do you think letters reached distant places when there were no trains? Visit to a post office. Visit a post office near your house or school. Observe how letters reach here and are sent from here. 1. What are the different kinds of items available? 2. What are their costs? 3. Can you send a message to your friend outside India using the postcard that Reena used? 4. What other work takes place here? Note: Ask the children to inquire from some old people how letters were delivered in olden times. Children might need help in writing the address on the postcards. the understanding that old people are an important source to know about the past will encourage children to interact with them page number 116 what is this what are razia and her appa saying to each other about letter here is a picture given on page number 116 in this picture A woman and a girl are talking to each other. Let us know what they are talking about. In the picture, the girl is saying, "Appa, do you know today we learnt about the journey of a letter in the class. I want to write a letter to Nani." The woman drawn in the picture replies, "You can write a letter." I am going to make a phone call. If you want, option. If you want, you can also come along. Razia and Appa went out to make a phone call from a shop in the village. 
Appa dialed the phone number and both of them talked to Nani. They gave money to the shopkeeper and returned home happily. A. Where all have you seen telephones? Write your answer in the blank space given here. 2. With whom do you talk on the telephone? There are three blank spaces given here to provide your answer. 3. Which of the two do you like more? Writing a letter or making a phone call? Why? Write your answer in the blank space given here. Note. Gender discrimination or gender biases needs to be discussed in the class such as use of technology, various profession by males and females. Page number 117 Telephones are of different types. Draw pictures of telephones you have seen. Here is a blank box provided on page number 117. You have to draw different types of telephones you have seen. What all purposes can these telephones be used for? Make your own telephone. For this, you need two empty matchboxes or ice cream cups and thread. Make holes in both the matchboxes or ice cream cups. Pass a thread through both the holes. Tie knots on both the ends of the thread. Your telephone is now ready. Ask your friend to put one end of the phone next to his ear and you hold the other end close to your mouth. Take care that the thread remains stretched and does not touch anywhere. Start talking. A. Design your own phone. Mention its special features. We wrote a letter. We also made a phone call. What are the similarities and differences between a letter and a phone call? What are the other means of sending messages if there is no post office? Note, allow children to improvise, draw and express their creative ideas. Keeping the child's environment in mind, other means of communication such as mobile phones, email, fax, etc. can be discussed. Children may be encouraged to find out changes in communication services from their elders. They may be helped to use web links. Chapter number 17 Here comes a letter Ends here You were just listening to the audiobook Looking Around Textbook in Environmental Studies For Class 3 Recorded by Butelang Lingdo And Mayank Kumar Production Assistance by Meenakshi Kukreti Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by C.I.E.T. N.C.E.R.T. New Delhi, India.